Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast. And in today's forecast, we'll be breaking down the threat of a severe weather outbreak across parts of the United States both today and tomorrow, bringing the risk of significant damaging winds, large to very large hail, and a few tornadoes. I'll give you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast, but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today. We're first going to begin with the Midwest, that is where our threat for severe weather exists today in the short term within the next few hours severe storms are expected to fire up but before that happens we do have a line of storms that has been rolling through Iowa and as well as Minnesota this morning a lot of the storm activity is weakening quite quickly so by the time you're watching this the line of storms might already be gone and we might already be talking about severe weather on the ground in Iowa so very significant storms are ahead today with the threat for all modes of severe weather but you'll notice back out to the west as well we still have some shower and even storm activity across areas like North Dakota extends all the way through Montana it's a fair Fairly large area but again a very impressive area of storms that is expected today to develop we're going to see a lot of the threat for severe weather in terms of discrete supercells which will be quite significant across the rest of the united states we have a low pressure system still spinning along the east coast that has been bringing showers and storms for the past few days and even potentially the last couple weeks honestly it is non-stop raining for the most part across a lot of those areas on the east coast that'll eventually move out though over the next few days drying up areas in the southeast which is something you guys desperately need it has been very wet over the last Last several days but luckily there is a nice pattern change coming now let's talk about the severe weather potential we're going to begin with today it's only a slight risk as i'm recording this i wouldn't rule out an enhanced risk being upgraded in parts of iowa but for right now it's just a slight risk of severe weather and a marginal risk that goes from minnesota all the way back through louisiana so it's a very large area uh, overall today though we're really watching primarily for the threat of large to very large hail you'll notice that hail threat is primarily going to be focused across areas in southern minnesota across iowa and as well as northern parts of Missouri. This hatched area is going to represent the chance for hail exceeding two inches in diameter. So we could see some storms today produce the threat of hail upwards of three to four inches in diameter, which by the way, we saw a lot of that back over in areas like Scotts Bluff, Nebraska, and as well as Lubbock, Texas. There were storms that produced hail as large as 4.5 inches in diameter. So don't rule it out today. It's definitely in the potential for severe weather across these areas, but there is a hail risk generally from areas like Illinois all the way back through Minnesota. It's a pretty large area still. But again, the main threat for very large hail is going to be across that hatched area. Damaging wind potential for the scary storm Saturday is currently located across areas like Iowa, Illinois, and Missouri. That is where we have the best chance for damaging winds. But some isolated slash sporadic damaging winds will be possible from Louisiana all the way back through Minnesota. And then the tornado risk, again, is not really that low. It's kind of in a medium spot today. We'll have discrete cells. Low-level jet will be strong enough. So we very well could at least see a few tornadoes across this very large area. But my main concern really about tornadoes today will be across Iowa. It's really wherever we see those discrete cells fire up. It's likely going to be across areas in central Iowa. So again, make sure you have multiple ways to receive alerts today and have a tornado action plan in place just in case there is a tornado warning in your location today. Now let's talk about that severe weather timing for today. We're actually going to be first beginning with Iowa. This is an area that I think has the greatest chance for severe weather within the next few hours by the time you're watching this video. So you'll notice by one o'clock, storms are firing off west of Des Moines, west of Mason City. This is where we're going to see the significant hail threat really start to ramp up this afternoon. By 2 o'clock, significant hail possible near Des Moines. So we're going to see, again, a few discrete cells form. The ones that are the most severe will be producing the threat of hail upwards of 3 to 4 inches in diameter. By 3 o'clock, storms are getting closer to Des Moines and eventually by 5 to 6 o'clock, a lot of the storm activity will become more clustered, which means that the severe weather threat will start to lower a bit. But if there are any discrete cells, large to very large hail is definitely the main concern. But damaging winds may become a bit more of a threat after we go past six o'clock tonight and eventually by eight to nine o'clock those storms are moving out of the state we might see a very brief threat during the late evening and early overnight hours across iowa but it's gonna be a low threat and it would mainly just be for some sporadic hail but other than that the threat remains low in terms of like a tornado threat or something like that overnight and then we clear out by tomorrow morning for the rest of this area we're gonna be watching again for severe storms not just in iowa but as well as southern minnesota that's where we could actually see some storms develop as early as about two to three o'clock this afternoon those ones will be capable of mainly large hail and damaging winds. Again, I can't rule out an isolated tornado. As we go closer to the evening hours, storms will also be possible down in Missouri. That is another area that I have a bit of a concern for large to very large hail and damaging winds. So again, make sure you're staying alert today. And as we go into the overnight hours, those storms push down to the south and east in terms of maybe even a line of storms. It's going to be very disorganized though. So damaging winds can be a low threat overall. And then we, again, we might see a second round of storms as we go into the late evening, early overnight hours. But again, that threat of severe weather will remain low during that time frame. And then we'll be 
be watching for our next threat of severe weather, which is tomorrow across a pretty large area in the Ohio Valley and as well as back down through the Mississippi Valley. And honestly, I'm most concerned right now about what we're going to see on Sunday because we could see more widespread severe weather action in terms of maybe even a line of storms, which would be very concerning. Now, right now, the Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk. The main concern being large to very large hail. That's going to be across areas like southern Indiana, Kentucky, and as well as northern Tennessee. And then our marginal threat of, of, of hail, excuse me, is going to be across areas from uh, Michigan back through Arkansas. And then once we look at that damaging wind threat, that is where things are kind of a little bit more uncertain. I do think the damaging wind threat could very well be increased across this area we could again see an enhanced risk of severe weather across this region so very much in play for an enhanced risk with the damaging wind potential likely being higher as we go into sunday but for right now again it is a lower threat it's gonna be primarily across ohio indiana as well as back through tennessee and then going into the tornado risk it is pretty much the same as what we have today it's a low threat it's primarily across kentucky northern tennessee and southeast indiana so if you're storm chasing better chance there across parts of kentucky for that tornado chase now for the time Again, we're going to have a line of storms overnight, so that's actually going to arrive tomorrow morning across areas like Kentucky. And you might be thinking, this is our severe weather threat, right? No, it is actually not. This will just be one of two rounds of showers and storms that you'll see, because you'll notice as we go closer to the late afternoon, look back up in areas like Indiana and Ohio, we got some storm activity forming there, and as well as Arkansas. But more concerningly, we could see more significant severe weather really ramp up as we go into the late afternoon. So we'll have two different areas of storms to watch, one from about eastern Oklahoma back through Tennessee and Arkansas and as well as into Kentucky and then also back over into Ohio that is where we could see another significant line of storms develop so two big threats to watch for going into Sunday and eventually as we go into the late evening we're still watching more storm activity blowing up across Kentucky so right now in my opinion I am watching more for a damaging wind concern and maybe some large to very large hail those are the two main threats there could also be a few tornadoes but I think that tornado risk will be a bit lower due to the overall structure and setup of these severe storms that we're expecting going into Sunday and as well as into Sunday night. So definitely make sure you're being weather aware on Sunday because we very well could see some fairly significant severe weather across the Ohio Valley and the Mississippi Valley. Now also for the last day of severe weather in the short term outlook, so going into Monday, we currently have a slight risk of severe weather in the mid-Atlantic region and a marginal threat that goes from Pennsylvania all the way back through Georgia and another small marginal threat back over into parts of the uh, Northern Plains. Again, both these threats mainly for damaging winds and hail, maybe a brief tornado as well may be possible. Before I end this forecast, one thing I did want to touch on is the heat across the United States. As we go into next week, we're going to have a heat dome in the Southern Plains. That is going to keep areas very hot next week. High temperatures across all of Texas are expected to be around, if not above 100 degrees. And that is a temperature, not even a feel like temperature. And once we go into late next week, that heat dome will continue. Cooler weather may start to usher in a little bit as we go into next week, but not really any hope in the near future there for the Southern Plains. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you're not already. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contract.